Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Zoom has major changes coming on July 19th. All meetings, and this is the email I received late last night, all meetings starting on July 19th either have to have the waiting room enabled or must have a passcode, which is a new term that we haven't heard before. So here's what's going to happen. Uh, there's the first bullet. As you notice, it's what I just said. The second thing they're telling you is you can customize your waiting room and basically say, okay, this list of users can bypass the waiting room. I will show you where that is in just one second, but I'm going to answer a lot of questions about this email right now and stuff you need to plan for now before July 19th. So we've always said password. Our meetings have had passwords optional, but it's recommended you do. So they've changed in the word password to passcode, and here's the big difference. The passcode is going to be for your meetings. Password is what you're going to use to sign into your Zoom account. Never give out your password, but the passcode you would give out to people that you're inviting to your meetings. So we got passcode and we have a password, but passcode I'm going to keep mentioning here. Also show you where you can find all your meetings that do not have a password. And I'm going to run through some frequently asked questions. So let me pull up my Zoom account first. And I'll answer these questions while I'm going through here. I already have it running, I hope. Yep. So I've already signed in to my Zoom account. Here's what I would do. Uh, first of all, your admin. First of all, go to meetings upcoming meetings and here are my upcoming meetings I made some of these up so here's what I recommend if you notice it says denotes no password over to the right so those first two meetings the zoom training and the budget meeting that I made up those meetings are good regardless of what day it is so on July 19th they already have a passcode if I accidentally say password let it go because I'm used to saying password the next three, let's talk about those. The HR meeting, well, that meeting's on June 25th, which is before July 19th, so that meeting is actually still okay. Now, the next two are obviously after July 19th, and they obviously have no passcode on them, which Zoom is still calling password, by the way. That's okay. I can tell by this icon right here. Well... On July 19th, so question one, what happens on July 19th if you have a meeting scheduled, there's no passcode, and an able waiting room is turned off for that meeting? Zoom will automatically enable the waiting room. So I just want to make sure you know that. So what if you don't need the waiting room is my issue. So here's what I recommend. So just look at this and saying, okay, these last two have no passcode. So that's going to be an issue. No, that's not true. Because what I don't know is did I enable the waiting room for those meetings already? So here's my example. The new hire overview, when I click that meeting, there is my meeting link. Uh, there is no password or passcode because it will be at the end of it. But enable waiting room is already turned on for this meeting. So actually in this example, I want to use the waiting room because I have a lot of new hires. I want to make sure I know who they are before they pop into the meeting. And I don't want them joining the meeting before I get in there. So this one's okay. I'm going to go back. Here's the one, number four, marketing meeting. This is the one that's the issue because when I click it, Again, no passcode already, but enable waiting room is off. So Zoom would automatically turn on the waiting room for that meeting. Well, that meeting is with a bunch of internal people and it's with a bunch of vendors because it's a marketing meeting and I got my graphic artists, I got my people that do the brochures, stuff like that. So I don't want the waiting room on for that meeting. So what you would do is edit the meeting and here's going to be the issue. I've already sent out the invite. 
So I'm going to turn on the password. It automatically assigns it. Save it. So now look at the URL. But the issue is this, I've already sent it out, so I would need to resend this invitation. So I think that's the issue a lot of people are gonna have on the 19th of July. Let me go back to meetings. Right here, notice it is now gone, but I need to send that invite back out, or at least send the pass passcode. All right, so that took care of that one. Um, that's really the most tricky one. I'm reading right from Zoom's website. What if I don't have a waiting room or passcode enabled? I already told you this. If neither is enabled, Zoom will enable a waiting room for your meetings. I just showed you what to do for your meeting invites. Uh, where is the waiting room and where is turn on passwords automatically? That would be under your settings. If you work at a company, your admin will do that. Under schedule meeting is where the password requirement is. If you don't schedule meeting, if you don't see schedule meeting, it's because your screen's uh, narrower than mine, but I promise you it's in here. Uh, use a password for MEM meetings. Right here. Require a password for instant meetings. So I've already got it turned on. And then finally, if you're looking for the waiting room, it's down under advanced or there you go, waiting room, in meeting advanced, waiting room, it's already turned on, but here's where you can set up who can bypass the waiting room. So anyway, that's all happening on July 19th. If you have any questions about that email, or just in general, now that I've showed you, maybe you didn't get the email, but you have questions, put them in the comments and I'll answer them. I appreciate your time. I'll also put the answers to the frequently asked questions that I went through and how I got there down in the description. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I think I have about 26 Zoom videos right now. I also have a Zoom resource center on my website with business backgrounds, if you like the virtual backgrounds, and video backgrounds, and Zoom keyboard shortcuts. Have a great day. Thank you.